Good morning, distinguished guests, esteemed speakers, and dear participants. On behalf of Athena Panin Private Limited, I extend a very warm welcome to each of you at this prestigious conference, the South Indian Biomedical Industrial Conference 1.0. This conference is proudly sponsored by International Four Vias Biomedical, Biomedors, and the subsidiaries Biosifizes and Biomat. They say knowledge is like a flame. When shared, it doesn't diminish, but only spreads further, illuminating the minds and hearts of those around us. Today, as we embark on this incredible five day journey, let us remember that each idea each innovation and every insight shared here will not only uplift as individuals, but will also propel the entire biomedical community towards progress. The brightest minds in this room are here, not just to gain knowledge, but to contribute, collaborate, and co-create solutions that will make a difference to the world. Now, let us show our respect to Tamil culture by standing for Tamil Taiwarth. To start the event, I would like to invite Mr. Srimanaj Kumar, sir, Head of Operations, Biomedors, a subsidiary of Athena Patan Private Limited, to deliver the welcome address. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Kritina. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of Athena Pontian Private Limited, it is my pleasure to welcome the esteemed chief guests who are accepting our invitations, respected faculty members, biomedical professionals, students, to the inaugural of South Indian Biomedical Industrial Conference on Point Zero. This conference is a landmark event bringing together leading experts in the field of biomedical engineering, healthcare technology, and industries. This conference aims to provide a platform where ideas are exchanged, knowledge is expanded, and innovations are celebrated. Over the next few days, we will hear from an outstanding panel of speakers each of whom brings a lot of experience, knowledge, and sharing their insights on the latest advancement and the career opportunities in the biomedical field that are shaping the future of healthcare. You are here to gain insights network. The conference is designed to enrich your professional journey and broaden your understandings of the biomedical industry. I also ex express my gratitude to each of you joining us today. Your participation is what makes the conference truly special. Once again, I welcome you all to this exciting event. I look forward to a day filled with learning, collaboration, and inspiration. Thank you for being a part of South Indian Biomedical Industrial Conference. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Up next, we have Mr. M. Sudarshan, sir, Head of Operations of International Phobias Biomedical, a subsidiary of Athena Panin Private Limited, who will be giving us an overview and introduction about this conference. Sir, please. So, good morning, everyone. So, I all welcome you all, the chief, esteemed chief guests, the international professionals, 
an aspiring biomedical engineer for this south india biomedical industrial conference 1.0 so it is an honor to stand before you all as we gather for this south india biomedical engineer conference so the objective of this conference is both timely and essentially as we aim to bridge the gap between the academic knowledge and industrial expertise the field of biomedical engineering so our focus is on fostering collaborations among the south india biomedical industries education institutions and healthcare providers who they need to gain a lot of knowledge and experiences while during the uh, what uh, engineering while studying the engineering itself so with a vision of building a robust ecosystems for innovations and practical applications in the healthcare technologies the conference serves as a platform to highlight the growing importance of biomedical engineering in improving healthcare outcomes promoting advanced researchers and creating the solutions tailored to unique needs of the regions so it is through events like this that we can bring attention to the latest advancement in medical devices biotechnologies and healthcare solutions so while also addressing the specific challenges faced by the biomedical industries in the south india so by uniting the leaders researchers industry pioneers and young professional we aspire to stimulate discussions on emerging trends regulatory landscapes and best practice in the biomedical fields so our goal is to create a lasting impact on healthcare through innovation entrepreneurship and sustainability industrial growth so i will be giving uh, the thing today evening by 6:30 pm we will be having the uh, google meet link so those who have registered you will be having the uh, meeting link with your mail id so please be on time and 6:30 then it will be which stand for uh, until 9 pm so thank you all for being part of the significant interviews together we can drive south india biomedical sector to new height and contribute all the healthier more technological advanced future for all so let's make this conference uh, more collaborative learning and transformations thank you thank you sir it's my pleasure to now call upon dr s atina padmalegi pandian sir our esteemed ceo to deliver the presidential address and share his vision for this conference and the future of biomedical engineering sir over to you I am audible, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, God, and thank you very much uh, to my team actually because um, I am not initiate anything actually. Our team gave an idea. Our team gave uh, some inputs for uh, developing uh, uh, the biomedical engineering to all over the world to expose the biomedical engineering knowledge to everyone because. in athena pandian private limited um, our motto is actually sharing knowledge everywhere we need to share the medical equipment knowledge we need to share the biomedical market knowledge to all the people that's what our tagline is sharing knowledge everywhere in that way our team particularly we can uh, call for the uh, ms rashika mr sudarshan mr manoj kumar mr mohammad sagil mr ms kritina ms priya ms aruna Uh, Ms. Danushya, uh, Mr. Varma, and all these people—they are uh, working together to uh, uh, do some of the new kind of events like this. I'm really encouraged and really uh, uh, appreciate each and every one for your uh, valuable contribution of each and every event because 
international conference the conduction of international conference is not a simple one international uh, because i am uh, acting as a professor in uh, few decades during the time the con conducting a international conference is much difficult we need to work for almost uh, uh, one month to collecting the people and to invite the people and it is very difficult to invite the people uh, uh, five people or 10 five to 10 people is very difficult to uh, welcome them to uh, give the speech in the international conference but the way they are successfully conducting uh, three international conferences that is very proud of all my team and uh, it is really appreciated that's what because we are uh, um, in backdrop we are doing some uh, good things in the international level and during the time they are all not wait for me and then they are all not wait for my orders they are keep on giving uh, create their uh, own ideas and create their uh, uh, own thought process and creativity and encouraging uh, each and everyone those who are all part of adinapani private limited for uh, creating a new things and executed in a very proper way very disciplinary manner and um, thanks you very much for uh, uh, the creation that uh, the south indian biomedical industrial conference this is the first time in india uh, first time in india and first time in the world we are conducting this particular type of conferences in this uh, almost uh, 29 biomedical experts are going to be talked so the purpose of this particular conference is actually students and the faculty members they are all keep on uh, doing some good things in academics the students and the faculty members or the people they are the futures of biomedical the futures of the biomedical world is only belongs to the faculty members and the students those who are pursuing biomedical engineers so during that during this period during this occasion the students and the faculty sh should know about what actually the current status of biomedical engineering how we can know about the current status of biomedical engineering through the industrial experts because they are in the field now they are in the exact current situation what is actually the biomedical engineering is and what is actually the uh, thing going on and what actually you required and all the things instead of faculty members and instead of the seniors the industrial experts can able to share some of the few things regarding the research regarding the market work regarding the entrepreneurship and all clear clarity about what actually the market is so that is the purpose of this particular south indian conferences the reason behind uh, why, why not we are not connecting uh, uh, the all over the india is see in the statistics says that more number of people those who are working in the thyroid industry biomedical industry more number of people are south indians the reason behind is that number of colleges the number of outputs the number of uh, outcomes passed out students and all the things are much heavier in south india not in the north india that's what the reason why if you are connecting the south india it is not compulsion that the north indians and the other peoples are, are not supposed to participate in this uh, conference and all the reason behind for this south indian conference is more number of people working in the biomedical field more number of experts they are in working in the biomedical industries or south india so that is the reason why we are calling for more number of entrepreneur particularly and more number of researcher those who are working towards on uh, uh, the biomedical engineering they are uh, exposed their passion towards on biomedical engineering for creating a new elaborative world for that we are concentrating on south indian conferences that's what the reason we are framing this particular conferences use this particular conference in a proper way because uh, it is not the compulsion for uh, doing the events compulsorily we are because according to the AICT, according to the NBA, and according to the blah, blah, there are so many aggradation, academics, re, academy have some of the schedule to conduct the program. But as an industrial point of view, there is no scheduling. There is no scheduling, there is no compulsion of conducting all these events. But even though Athena Pandem Private Limited is keep on doing this particular type of uh, conferences and this uh, particular type of faculty development program to connecting the people, these are all the works not for uh, the compulsion we are doing and we are not having any uh, aggregational scheduling we uh, ourselves passionating I, I already told you our passionating uh, a team creating all these innovative ideas to expose the world by the way of connecting all these things because during their period and during in my period also during their pursuing period they don't have these kind of the connections that's what they are creating their innovative things what are all the struggles they are facing during the time of their studies 
all that thing should not be there for the upcoming generations also that's what they are creating all these kind of the ideas and all these kind of the international conferences conducting so use this particular thing in a very prompt way that's what uh, because my kind request is this kind of the conferences and this kind of the interactions should be there for all the peoples that enlighten the people those who are in an academic those who are in the research those who are in as a, act as a student they're all getting a so much kind of inputs that's what the next step you can able to go according to the inputs you are get it from the industry experts okay so this particular conference is going to be happen as uh, sudarshan uh, hoya said uh, mentioned that this conference has happened from the today to the uh, saturday it is uh, probably on evening time the reason behind is you are all getting free faculty members head of the department and uh, the students those who are all uh, passionate towards on biomedical engineers they are getting a free time on uh, over 6 o'clock that's what the, we are requesting the industrial experts for also because the biomedical industrial persons they don't have a timing schedule they are not following the academic schedule uh, of 9 to 10 9 to 5 or 3 to uh, 9 to 3 or 10 to 3 like that they are each and every time uh, biomedical engineers they are uh, uh, working according to the doctor's appointment even though they are having an appointment they are just explaining all these things to these are all the useful things to the students so why not you can able to come and participate like that we can make a conversation on them and then they are accepted so my first of all i would like to thank uh, all the experts those who are going to talk about the biomedical engineering to the students and the faculty members so this kind of the conferences because of the your convenience we are placing the time of from 6:30 every day from 6:30 pm to maximum of 10 pm or 11 pm the doc expert is going to be talk according to your interaction the time may be extended and use this particular conferences in a proper way then only it, it is very helpful for you to make a scheduling for your uh, future scenario okay so keep remembering and uh, kindly follow the um, instructions what they followed uh, during the time of the conferences okay so don't forget monday coming this today to saturday every day 6:30 pm wait for the conference and wait for this particular different kind of experts from different biomedical stream okay thank you very much and once again i i'm thank you uh, all the people and particularly uh, mr manoj kumar the who, who is the leading coordinator for this particular uh, uh, south indian uh, biomedical industrial conferences and he is the responsible person to collecting all these kind of the industrial experts i am really encouraged i am really appreciate not an encourage i am really appreciate on behalf of athena patel private limited management team and also uh, in the faculty team i am really appreciate the work he done for the past uh, 10 days for collecting 29 people uh, in front of you okay thank you very much and uh, thanks a lot to the head of ovs also for conducting the frequent kind of uh, events even though i am busy with some other schedule you are all uh, keep on doing some good things i am uh, thank you god for giving a great team for me and uh, thank you very much thanks a lot and all the best for your conferences thank you and back to prithina yes sir thank you so much sir i now invite ms kriya shakti ma'am head of operations biomat a subsidiary of athena patel private limited to welcome and introduce the esteem industrial leaders who will be sharing their expertise with us over the next 5 days over to you ma'am thank you kritana good morning everyone welcome to the south indian biomedical industrial conference proudly hosted by athena panyan private limited and subsidiaries international covia biomedical and biomedos so today we are gathered to celebrate the brilliant minds shaping the future of biomedical engineering as we embark on this inspiring journey we are honored to extend an lineup of speakers each a pioneer in their domain pushing the boundaries of biomedical technology It is said that science and everyday life cannot should be separated, and these experts live by their philosophy, translating complex research into life-saving solution. It's a great pleasure to have an enlightening speakers in front of our eyes. So, firstly, I welcome Dr. Stalin Sarvamuni, sir, founder of Adonmed Technologies, healthcare technology consultant, Chennai. Nextly, we are extremely responsive about Anandu S. Sushi, sir. late ops ceo office next we are cordially welcoming mr abdul rahman shahab sir regulatory affairs manager seven sultanias bangalore next we cordially welcome dr krishna kumar sankar sir assistant professor rajalakshmi engineering college chennai 
Next, we are proud to invite our Dr. Bravin Rajagopal sir, Chief Biomedical Engineer, Bharat Hospitals, Nagakoil. Next, we are cordially welcoming Mr. Surya Narayana Ravi sir, Hardware Engineer, Foam Technologies. Next, we are very proud to invite Ms. Shakti Ravi Sudar, ma'am, Growth Manager at Mitzel Ernakulam. Next, we are very cordially welcoming our Mr. Muthukumar sir, Vagasya, Project Associate. Next, we are cordially welcoming Dinesh Raj sir, BE Medical Engineering, General Manager at Siemens Health Engineers. Next, we are welcoming Dr. Pravin Kumar sir, Sales Executive at Metronics Private Limited, Vishagapatna. So, we welcome all of you for the kind invitation sir and proceed with our next session. Thank you all. Thank you ma'am. I would now like to call upon Mr. Mohammed Sahil sir, Head of Operations, Biosifizes, a subsidiary of Athena Pandan Private Limited, to introduce the healthcare experts who will be presenting over the course of this event. Sir. Yes, sir, please. So, on behalf of uh, Athena Pandan Private Limited and International Four Years at Biomedical and Bio, Bio Meadows, uh, jointly invite uh, the next 20 uh, industrial resource persons from uh, South India. Uh, so, Mr. Uh, Blazen Kureko, sir, Technical Manager, Equis Medic Tech Private Limited, Bangalore. And uh, the second is this person will be having Mr. Daya Paran, Senior Engineer, Verification and Validation, uh, Siemens Eltenius, Bangalore. And Ms. Uh, Kaushika, ma'am, Director and Administration, Expert H Medical Innovation, Chennai. And Mr. Abdul Majid, sir, Program Manager, Philips Medical Systems from Bangalore. And the next resource person, respected Dr. Jeffrey Winner, Senior President, Hospital, SRM Medical College and Research Center, Chennai. And the next resource person, JIT Tech Kaundinya, Head of Business Development, Prognosis Medical Systems, Private Limited from Bangalore. And Mr. Hasha, Ms. Asha Singh, ma'am, AVP Product Management, Johnny 3 Innovations Private Limited from Bangalore. The next resource person having Muhammad Yazin, sir, service engineer, Mighty Electronic Private Limited from Chennai. And Mr. Shailish Patanya, sir, Tail Head Neo Sajitic Private Limited, Ahmedabad from Gujarat. And the last resource person having Mr. Gopinath, sir, Global Support Specialist, Remote Service Architect Philips from Bangalore. So thank you. And we are uh, inviting uh, the very uh, important industrial persons uh, we like to welcome once again, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. And up next, we have Ms. Arura, ma'am, biomedical trainer at Athena Pan and Private Limited, who will be welcoming and introducing the biomedical company experts who will be enlightening us with their knowledge during the sessions. Ma'am, over to you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, next, we have Mr. Sidhu Narayanan, sir, the head of biomedical engineering at Sakra World Hospital, Bangalore. Next, we have Ms. Neha RMP, ma'am, the biomedical engineer in charge at Cloud9 Hospital, Sajpura, Bangalore. Next, we have Dr. Sudhartha Malik, ma'am, CEO and managing director of Sunburst Healthcare Private Limited, Pune. Next, we have Mr. Pragadishwaran Kadiration, deputy manager of customer service at Siemens Health Nurse, Vijayawada. Next, we have Ms. Zari Zaidin, ma'am, a dedicated research scholar at the Faculty of Management Science, the Ramachandra Institute of Higher Education and Research, Chennai. Next, we have Ms. Ketna Kumar, ma'am, technical manager of RAQA at LSS Medical Consulting, Hyderabad. Next, we have Mr. Haj Ayush Bedol, so manager of education vertical, IK Cement Works, Gurugan, Haryana. Next, we have Dr. Ashwin Kumar, on Narasimhan sir, co-founder and chief technology officer at Acrofluidic Innovation Chennai and assistant professor at the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, United States. And finally, we have Mr. Navin Kumar Vyas sir, business manager at Involution Healthcare Private Limited, Bangalore. Thank you.
Thank you, ma'am. Now, I would like to request Ms. Dhanushya, ma'am, my medical trainer at Athena Panin Private Limited to deliver the vote of thanks and express our gratitude to all those who have made this event possible. A pleasant morning, everyone present here. It's a honor and privilege to extend a heartfelt vote of thanks to all who made this inauguration function a grand success for South Indian Biomedical Industrial Conference. First, I would like to express our deepest gratitude to our organization, CEO Dr. Adina Malika Pandian sir, and Vice President, CTO Ms. Rashika Murugan ma'am, and our management members. This conference is proudly organized by Adina Pandian Private Limited and sponsored by International Phobias Biomedical, Biomedas, and subsidiaries Biozephysis and Biomac. On behalf of Adina Pandian Private Limited, I would like to express our deepest gratitude to our distinguished speakers and presenters. A heartfelt thanks to our speakers for accepting the invitation. We are eagerly waiting to get a lot of knowledge from you all for, from this international conference. A special thanks goes to our esteemed guests and delights who joined us from the various corners of the world. Every participant kindly joined 6.30 p.m. from Monday to Friday. Thank you all. Once again, I thank you all for the valuable time and contribution for this inauguration function. Thank you. And before we conclude, I want to extend my heartfelt thanks to everyone present here for this inaugural, for your active participation and support. I encourage you to all actively engage in the upcoming and to join us again in the evening for more enlightened presentations and in insights. Your presence would truly make this event special for this week. Thank you so much. Now, I would like to request you all to rise up for national anthem. Once again, a kind remember message to everyone. So I request you all to join by this evening, 6 p.m. And stay ahead to get, gather new insights and expertise from the industrial experts. Thank you. Yo, yo, yo.